Hey guys, how are you doing? In this episode, we are going to see how to fix cannot verify server identity error on iPhone and iPad. This error appears on your iPhone or iPad for various reasons with different applications or system settings that you are using. For example, for some users, it could appear on the mail app when you use Outlook or any you know Gmail web mail service provided by your company or organization. And after entering the login credentials of your mail account or calendar accounts, you may see such error cannot verify server identity on iPhone or iPad. In this case, the steps are very simple to fix this issue. And I'm going to use one of my old video, which explains the similar steps to fix the issue. So here you can see in this case, I'm just trying to add a separate mail account, which uses my organization's domain name and you know the login credentials. When you select the other option in the mail accounts addition page, you will be provided with the custom uh, email accounts that you want to access. Like if your company provided it or you want to use your business email ID and password to access it within your mail application or you know to use just the calendar sense and feature. So here you can see that this error appears and you need to tap on the details which from the latest screenshot you can see that cannot verify server identity in the latest iOS version. It shows details and just cancel. So tap on the details and you will be provided as trust or cancel option at the top section. You can verify the details, of course, whether the address, uh, the mail server and everything, you know, points to the right secure certificate details or not, you know, whether it contains the correct website address and server details or not, then you can tap on the trust. Sometimes you may see instead of trust, install link will be there. So you can install the certificate on your iPhone or iPad and then this server error cannot verify server identity error will disappear. And just as a basic step, you can perform a simple restart of your iPhone or iPad and then try the same steps and see whether it works or not. Make sure to connect to Wi-Fi or any stable 5G network and then proceed with the steps that I have just instructed. And if the problem is still not resolved, then it is good to talk to your IT team administrator of the email accounts they have provided only when the said troubleshooting steps are not working. As I have demonstrated in this video, you can see that the problem has been fixed in my case. So I think you may not have to contact the IT administrator, but as the last option, you can do it to get the issue sorted out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped you to fix the issue. For more useful iPhone, iPad and Mac related tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe. Have a wonderful day.